we have something special here today. This is Marques de Murrieta Rioja, the Etiqueta Blanca 1982 vintage. So this is a, <laughs> obviously a very old wine. We're uh, sourcing this from a supplier of ours that searches <laughs> for these wines in Spain from uh, people who have bought these wines on release and aged them in their own temperature controlled natural cellars over the years. So basically the wines have just rested there since their release, maturing slowly. And we found them to be just in, in pristine condition. Um, uh, obviously other than <laughs> the labels and the capsules, because those, of course, are on the outside, they'll deteriorate, but the wine itself is shown to just be beautiful. Um, yeah, you'll see there's some saran wrap around this one, just protecting the label. Some of them have this, uh, some don't. Um, I'm gonna remove the capsule and I'm gonna decant this off the sediment. Uh, the other thing I should mention is that the bottle has been standing up for about two days just to let all the sediment go to the bottom. See now, kind of messy on the top. You're gonna wanna clean that off. So I brought a little rag and a little bit of water just to be able to do that effectively. Um, sometimes for older bottles, a two-prong corkscrew also works best. I'm going to work with my trusty waiter's corkscrew and see how it does. Because old corks can, can become you know, sort of crumbly and sometimes difficult to remove with a regular corkscrew. Yeah, as you see, this one is starting to pull apart a little bit. So, we'll just keep going very gently. This seems not too bad. Just let the pieces fall off. Got it. Yeah, it's a little messy. All right, now we'll decant. Have a really good view through the bottle with the light. So I can see it's very clear. And yep, most of the sediment is rested at the bottom. This is good. Okay. Beautiful. <laughs> All right. So the cork was our biggest challenge. We got past. So we're gonna look at the color, which is, yes, mature. You see little tinges of orange, brick red on here. But it's still fairly deep and the color is fairly uniform, which is a good sign. Red wine, color fades with time become lighter, take on a amber tinge. Oh, yeah, I get it, that um, sort of saddle leather, first thing I get. Yeah, and then there's some sweet notes like uh, figs, something a little smoky in there, roasted coffee <laughs> coming up now. A little bit of um, like an orange peel note or something you know, that smells tangy. Mm. Yeah, it's a really intriguing nose. Let's try it. Yeah, 
Yeah. <laughs> very, very good. Um, so you get those leathery notes and then those sort of fig um, dried dates coming up. But there's a really nice tanginess to the wine. There's that, that's that sort of citrus peel that comes up. <clears throat> really makes it lively on the palate. Tannins are incredibly silky, soft, supple. Get more sort of minerals now on the finish. We got some of those roasted coffee notes on the mid palate, sort of like roasted nuts, mushroom. And it's a, still lingering on the finish, really long finish on this one. Um, it's the kind of one you're gonna have with, um, maybe with a cheese course or something delicate, you know, a roast veal, roast beef, something like that. But uh, a very unique experience, a lot of fun. Very complex. Happy drinking. <laughs>